Hi, Ken Lagerkraft, uh, Bronze Age comic book artist here, and I'm going to be talking about Gil Kane and uh, his, his artwork for Iron Fist. First of all, I want to make you aware that I have a series of how to draw books. These are $20 each, $5 postage. You can email me or you can uh, buy them on eBay. Uh, one of them is uh, how to draw horses in action. It's a very good book for like learning how to draw horses. I did a lot of hard shots in here and uh, a lot of uh, hard to draw poses. So that's one. Uh, another book I have is Comic Book Perspective. This one has like all the tricks uh, and uh, shows all the vanishing points, which is what you need to draw buildings and figures that move and come out at you. Uh, another book, this is one of my most popular ones, How to Draw Comic Book Women. Uh, I learned uh, how to draw women from uh, Gil Kane, Wally Wood, and Eric Stanton. So uh, I picked up a lot of uh, things working for Eric Stanton personally, actually. Um, another book that I have is Comic Book Anatomy. This one covers female anatomy and male anatomy. And it also has some inking and shadow techniques in the end of the book. So if you want to be an artist and are making drawings look a lot more professional, I get all four of these books. Okay, now what I'm going to show you is when uh, Neil, when when Gil Kane worked on Iron Fist, I think he did some of his best drawing. I was lucky enough to photograph quite a few of the uh, penciled pages, and I'm going to be showing you those. Uh, Dick Giordano ended up inking this, and some of these I think, if I recall right, I did get from uh, Mr. Giordano. Uh, so uh, very few people have ever seen this, ever, because this is in pencil form. I have never seen any of the construction figure pages for this story. I sure would like to. Uh, Kane at this point was an absolute master of anatomy. Uh, he had all of his upshots down here. You can see where the guy, Iron Fist's mouth is open. That's like a how to draw that view. Alright, next thing we got is another page. It's another uh, copy of it. And Gil actually colored in the anatomy on here to show me how to, uh, where the muscle groups uh, functioned. See right there? That was pretty cool. He did that with a Marvy marker. He's showing like the extensor muscles there and uh, uh, part of the deltoid muscle up there, shoulder. So uh, every once in a while he would do that for me. This is a really nice close-up of Iron Fist. I think this one was, uh, those pages I showed, by the way, were actual size drawings, 11 by 17. This may have been an enlargement, but it's a superb example of Iron Fist from seen from below, using one of the famous Gil Kane below angle nasal shots. Okay, here we have another page. This is uh, a, another interior page of that mountain climbing scene where his parents are killed. When Iron Fist is a child. And again, look how tight that drapery's drawn. If you look at the uh, f figure uh, right here, you can see the Y shaped drapery fold. That's what Gil used a lot. There we got Iron Fist Dad. And it's amazing how Gil Kane drew the hair all flowing. Beautifully thought out. Here he's about to get his hand stepped on. Again, you can see how his folds are all worked out. The guy could really draw. Uh, I was lucky to get these. I studied these on my way to becoming a professional. As you can see, Gil Kane could really draw hands. And he wasn't afraid to try to draw an extremely dynamic pose like this. Most artists would have been shying away from this. Plus all the anatomies worked out. 
just beautiful drawing. Again, see that hand? Uh, this is interesting. This was a, a page that Marie Severn would give to us, uh, would-be professional artists. She had clipped photocopies of uh, various artists here, mostly Gil Kane on this page, you can see. There's one from uh, Kazar right in the middle. And a lot of this stuff is just lost forever because once it was inked, if somebody didn't make a photocopy beforehand, uh, it would never be seen again. It's easier to find stuff like this, like this is Dan Atkins inking Gil Kane, one of the slickest inkers up there. Dan used to tell me that he'd actually put his ink in a soup pot, metal soup pot, and uh, cook it for a while to get water out of it to get the ink as dense black as he possibly could. He was uh, personally trained by Wally Wood, master inker from EC and Mad Fame. These pages are getting pretty old, and this one apparently had been taped. Uh, you can see the tape on the top there. And again, it shows Iron Fist fighting. Very hard to draw poses. As usual, Gil Kane did not shy away from drawing something like this, like punching way below angle here. So nice fight scene. Okay, what we have here is some panels that I happened to get when I traded with other artists that had these and I had cut them out and pasted them down. These are all from Iron Fist. Again, look at that drapery. It's worked out folds, it almost looks like Albert Durer. That old, uh, was a German artist that did wood engravings. And what do we have here? Another fight scene. And here we have part of a Conan panel. That's also, uh, he was a master of drawing horses. And this was a page that I put together to when I was learning how to draw hands. So I think these are all these are from all different uh, Gil Kane covers. And what Bronze Age artists would do is, if they had photocopies, they would trade them. I remember Ron Wilson had tons of John Buscema pencils. Oh, he drew that Iron Fist figure completely below angle. What a masterpiece. Figure drawing. And here's the size that uh, Head was actually drawn that I had enlarged. Wow, this guy could draw. Look at that. He's got the bodies all piled up. Very hard to draw positions. You're looking down on top of this guy's head, for instance. We got a rawhide kid, or rawhide kid or kid colt uh, cover. Nice draper again. Look at how he worked that skull out in the guy's head. It's incredible. We got another Gil Kane faces below angle. Uh, he drew so well, it's like you could study this and learn how to draw that head view. We got the uh, guy falling down the mountain. Again, perfect hands, perfect drapery. Another uh, fight scene here. 
Well, it looks like I had more than one copy of this. Maybe this is better. And we have some more here. Well, here, this was on back of one of the drawings, so a little anatomy study. Throwing fist kicking somebody. Above angle shot of uh, looking down an iron fist. Panel from Conan. And look, an inhuman drawing. Here we go again, Iron Fist and his mom. Well, I just noticed there's no lettering on these pages. I guess what happened is Gil drew them, and then uh, they lettered it. Well, they might have pasted on letters, too. They used to do it up at Marvel. Okay, well, I'm going through the rest of these now. More fight scenes. Yeah, there's Conan jumping over a building. Another nice headshot of uh, Iron Fist. Oh, he actually drew blood coming out of his nose here. Oh, and I, there's another thing. Gil can't draw animals. With his pack of wolves. Got a couple more pages here and then we're done. Mom crying out. Wow, that's really, it almost looks sort of photographic, it's so well drawn. And we're ending up here with this shot Iron Fist standing, trying out, very in triumph pose, overlooking a defeated Kung Fu warrior. Okay, I was, I'm glad I got to share these with you. These have never, ever been seen. And I hope you buy my books. Okay, thanks.